Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake. We're back with another episode of Order of Battle World War II. This game was developed by the Aristocrats and published by Slytherin. I'd like to uh, welcome back all subscribers and welcome in all new subscribers. We're going to go ahead and load up the game here. And full disclosure, I previously had played this particular scenario of the Kriegsmarine campaign, and it seemed extremely lopsided as far as being able to complete the mission. It was just uh, the Allies had way too many units uh, for me to be able to accomplish what I needed to accomplish to continue. And if you don't, and I played it through to the end. If I don't accomplish what they want you to accomplish, you lose. And the campaign goes down as a defeat. So I thought it was very odd. So I did some research online and found out that, aside from a couple of people, most people agree that this particular battle or scenario is completely lopsided and just bad just did not uh fit the rest of the campaign as well as the other order of battle game uh, games and scenarios so what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to go ahead and take our difficulty down one level uh to to commodore which is we can adjust it here and see what happens if it appears to be as lopsided as it normally is. Uh, unfortunately, to continue, because the other the, the other scenarios were not reported as lopsided, I may have to use uh, cheat codes to up my uh, available units as well as uh, points. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, as if uh, as we normally do, and we'll see what happens. I have not played it on this particular level before, so if it goes well, we'll just continue playing it. Like I always say, I give it to you straight and as I see it. So there you go. Rock and Coast, November 1942. The Creeks Marine is sent out to disrupt Operation Torch, the planned Anglo-American amphibious operation north of Monaco. So here we go. Morocco, not Monaco, Morocco, sorry. All right, so kind of covered everything I needed to, to say. It's it's unfortunate, but uh, I I guess can't be all that bad if everyone complains about it. Thinking back on it, that one Marine mission may have been a little lopsided also. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and continue here and get into our mission uh, briefing. The war in Africa has been shifting back and forth since the arrival of the German African Corps. To break the stalemate, the Allies have mustered a powerful invasion fleet aiming to open a second front through the coast of Morocco. In an attempt to delay or disrupt this invasion as much as possible, the Kriegsmarine has been dispatched to engage Allied escorting fleet. The bulk of our ships will be directed to make contact with the enemy as soon as possible. Okay. In addition, a smaller flotilla can be sent further south to cut the enemy's line of retreat. Starting from these positions, we must turn eastward and destroy any opposition along the way to the Moroccan coast. There you go. If we succeed in reaching the Allied transports and supply ships, the enemy will no longer will have no other option but to retire and abort the operation. To ensure the preservation of our own strength, Badly damaged ships should head for the Spanish coastline and return to base. So, you can see we start up here and we start there. One of the things that we'll have to do is keep these units from being overwhelmed. Well, we have nothing anywhere near close to being able to do that. Even if we go up here and we start with uh, fast bombers and fly straight there, you can't get there fast enough, and uh, that's just the way it is. So, uh, let's go ahead and start the game here. 
and so we have to sink around 18 warships and inflict uh, 12 damage points on battleships. No enemy, no naval enemy leaves the map. Protect one French victory point for eight turns. See, they make us protect it, but they give us no way of doing it. We can't deploy anything here. It's just, it's ridiculous. And I only got 252 points. So if I go in here to purchase uh, a bomber, I could purchase one of these. It's going to suck up 80 points immediately. Uh, and we do have this guy, which is the torpedo bomber, which what I really want to do is change him over to uh, a normal bomber. Yep, so now it's a normal bomber, so, but he's not that fast. So, what we'll attempt to do here, let's go ahead and purchase and deploy. And that's, uh, we'll undeploy him, and let's go ahead and deploy him here. We're gonna deploy this one here. Okay, and they have limited turns and then they have to exit. And this is our scout plane. We're not going to repair them. Now we got no points left. We got one point left. So can I deploy him? All right. Got no points left. So there you go. That's our Air Force. Now we have a uh, U boat up here. We're going to surface him. And let's go down here to this one. Boy, him here. And surface him. Okay, got 172, we've got 40 to go. So I got some units here that are. That's going to take 90. And that's it. I mean,. We got 82 points left so it's it's like ridiculous as far as what you get so let's go ahead and deploy him here now i got 82 points to purchase stuff and 38 command points so did i bring back this guy no because i need 90. so i could start with that and deploy another boat here momentarily but you can see, I got no units to do anything with. It's literally impossible. So, let's go back to what our options are. And, yep, yeah, damage 12 and 18. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And we will worry about deploying this other stuff later. I'm not going to use up this because I want another U-boat. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna close. And let's go ahead and close the force and we'll end our turn. All right. So, support ship. Gonna sail him over this way. Like I say, you're gonna see me go through this pretty quick because I, I quite honestly don't believe that it's possible to do anything. And we'll just leave him there because I don't know where anything is and I don't want to move him. So I got next. Alright, next. See, now they're going to bring in those, those troops and they're going to land them by taking out those support ships, or supports. Uh, Keep him there. 
Can we support ship this way? And now we're gonna put our subs here to block. Not gonna move him, and not gonna move him. So that's the end of the turn. First support ship to the beach. Second support ship to the beach. Alright, there comes some more of their ships to the land. control over that. Oh, look what we got. Oh, good, he shot at him. That's, that's good. Um. Alright, see, they land before we can get there. This way. Now, dive. Move here. Well, we got one point off of them at least. And it takes me four turns. Who else we got to move? Yeah, it wouldn't move right along. Should have shot at this guy. Surface. Excellent. Hmm, there 
aircraft carrier. Indicated by that. I don't have to do anything with aircraft carriers, so it really didn't matter. All right. Nope. Oh, next. Okay. All I can do is hope to take those guys out of supply. Make my guys be able to fight better. turns to go before I get that. No reason to move him then. And let's see, what do we have over here? Troops landed. Here they come. I'm not feeling a little pessimistic over this whole thing, but you can see why. It's light. Alright, he's still got one turn. Let's move here. Oh crap. I didn't think he was there. Son of a... Oh well, that's a dead sub. Okay. Get this guy. That's it. Another end of a turn.
Oh, see, they attack you. Huh? And then they, they see they drive you off. There's no freaking hell chance. How, how the hell are you going to do it? I got no control over it. So it's like, so what's the point? cares at this point you really think about it like cares We got 152. Let's take a look at purchasing. deploy there like I said they deploy so far away from everything you can't get there from here All right, 62 yep yeah, don't care I admit, Operation Taurus was a complete success. The Germans couldn't stop it, but they could at least give us something that we could attempt to complete. So.
Bobby Sock, poor guy. I was up pulled away. He tried to run, I get off, but he didn't make it. <laughs> like I said, highly lopsided mission, completely. They tried to ping and we moved away, so. All right. These ships move about as far as these do. Alright. Of anything, I think got their supply ships anyway, right? What the hell? All right, we know where he is. He is surfaced. He's got to stay right there. He's staying there. He's moving this way. He's staying there. Okay, next. ships. set up here, okay, good to know, next, nada, Eventually lose that airplane, but we bomb the crap out of them. That's what's important. I think that is the battleship. We'll find out here momentarily. There it is. Okay. Aircraft carrier. Alright. Doing it 
pounding away at it. Oh, crap. Oh, he shoots at the airplane instead. He didn't, but I'm still gonna get a shot. I'll be halfway through. Thing is, we sank a battleship. How many, how many types of attacks did it take? When you think about it, I mean, come on. As soon as I do, I'm gonna get hammered from the air.
Oh, we're just moving, we're just moving pieces. Colorado. Two big battleships there. Up another ship. All right. Yep. They just escaped through it. Like we didn't know that was already going to happen. All right. Purchase. And what do you know? Now we can deploy here. Interesting. Just another sub.
right. I think that's it. Next. see these pretty quick because we know what's going to happen before we get there.
Next. Alright, next turn. It's a not much happening. Okay, let's do here. Get two turns to go. All right, sink another one. be it. The last of our turns. Defeat. Unable to cause significant damage to allied invasion fleet while the enemy reinforces are ready to, uh, are already en route. Our fleet is forced to return to port. Close. Okay. Exit. No. See? Gives us the uh, defeat. So that's on the absolutely easiest level. And just don't have the forces. So that's going to require me to do um, things I don't like to do, which we're going to um, restore. and pick that up next week so we'll let this episode stand for now and what we're going to do is let's do this let's exit to the menu no, let's do this we'll load Uh, 
right. We're going to where where does it start? Let's go back to here. Go ahead and load that. All right, continue. All right, so uh, close this so that we we know what we have to do. So we're gonna close that, and we're gonna do something I didn't ever want to have to do, but we're gonna do it because it's just ridiculous. Let's use um oh, let's firm and Naval CP uh, all right. Hundred and then let me do that again. Plus, up, oh, plus, oh, one thousand. All right. So now what we're going to do is next time when we come back, we're going to use these numbers here and we're going to make a huge freaking force and we're going to kick their living butts is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and uh, options. We're going to call this. Uh, post BP. I hate to do it, but that, that scenario is completely whacked, just like everyone that I read online said it was. And some people just gave up on it completely. I'll just uh, do that. And next time when we come back uh, for our next episode, and we will see what happens. So a little disheartened that I got to do this. Well, actually, not just a little, a lot. So I understand there will be a number of people probably going to put some nasty comments about having to do that. But if you got suggestions on how to beat that scenario, I would be happy to see it. You got to sink 18 ships in 30 turns. I mean, that's that's literally a, a ship every other turn. Not a freaking way with the amount of CP that I got. So anyway. We'll be back next next time and continue with that. So as always, I'm Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.